Well, good morning everyone, and today is another day of sightseeing and adventures here in Washington, D.C. Today I am going to go to the Library of Congress. I've never been, but I hear it's absolutely gorgeous. One of the oldest libraries, if not the oldest library in the United States. That is right smack in the middle of Capitol Hill. So you have the U.S. Capitol there, the U.S. Supreme Court, and you have Union Station. Lots to do in that area. And I'm gonna try to do as much as I can and take you along with me. Welcome to Washington, D.C. I hope you're ready because I know I am. Let's go do this. Now, because the Capitol is about 1.2 miles away from me, I'm gonna hop on one of these birds. If you go here to one of these apps, I can see there's a close one right here. This one has about 15 miles. So let's go here and All right, she's ready to go. Well, I took the scooter as far as I could go, but once you hit any monuments or capital grounds, it just stops. So I had to park it, and it looks like I'm gonna have to hoof it on foot the, uh, the rest of the way, but that's okay, because this area is gorgeous. You got the US Bot Botanical Gardens, right behind me and the conservatory right over here. I'm gonna try to get back here and I mean, just look how gorgeous this is. Wow, so beautiful. There's so much to see and do right in this Capitol here, Hill area. I'm gonna try to come back and capture all this for you, but right now I have an 1115 appointment at the Library of Congress and it's 1110, so hopefully we'll make it. Capitol Hill, everyone. Library of Congress. Now let's see if we can get inside. All 
Now to get into the Library of Congress, you do need to make uh, some plans ahead of time. What you do is you go online to the Library of Congress, Congress and you pick a, uh, a time that you want to reserve. So my time is for 11.15 a.m. because you do need time to go through security, standard airport, metal detectors, all that good jazz. Um, if your time is not available for the amount of people that you want to go inside, then you just need to keep looking down on their schedule for a time that is open. So let's go inside. All right, we made it inside the Library of Congress. As you see, I'm like drenched in sweat here. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Once you get inside, it is a self-guided tour. Pick up one of these maps, okay? Has everything you need to know as far as what's what and all the different levels and wherever you wanna go, you just go. Self-guided tour. Let's go see what this place has to offer. Right now, I'm looking at some uh, Grammys and Oscars, so I'm already impressed.
wow. What else can I say right now is wow. This this place is absolutely gorgeous. The the artwork, the statues. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So the rotunda and the chambers that you just saw uh, was behind glass. That's the only place that you can actually take pictures or record of those chambers. Now you can go in there, and I'm going to, but you have to pre-register, which I will do at the, uh, the desk downstairs on the ground level, but you're not allowed to take your phones or cameras or anything like that uh, inside. There's no recording at all. That's why there is that observation deck, uh, which you just saw, um, which still has amazing, amazing views. If, if you guys haven't been to the Library of Congress, you guys got to come here. This is so beautiful. These are quite literally President Thomas Jefferson's personal books, his library. Right behind me, like, these are the books, like, his books. the head was used here in this office from 1897 all the way up to the 1980s and is now used for ceremonial purposes it is gorgeous all of the artwork is hand painted on the ceiling and I would say that this is 
slightly nicer than my office at work. absolutely gorgeous chamber and nobody's in here but it's gorgeous I've checked in all of my my bags um, and inclu including my uh, recording equipment minus my phone got my uh, t my my card to check in my personal property and now I'm going to go into the actual rotunda the reading room Wow I'm just Wow kind of a maze to get there. You actually have to go underground, follow the signs that say reading room, reading room, and then, okay, I think we're getting close. All right, and then I gotta take a elevator to the first floor. Wow, look at this, look at this, look at this. I just want to point out, like, there's nobody down here. And, and it's a Saturday, this place is packed, but there's nobody here. There's nobody, this is like the basement or ground level. Okay. All right, into the elevator. Going up, we're gonna to go to the first floor, but this is kind of like a secret. I don't think a lot of people know about this. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Library of Congress. Let's talk about it. So I just got done with one of the most amazing experiences that I've had in a long time. I went into the main reading room, which was the rotunda. Now, there are cameras everywhere and you can't take photos or videos, uh, but the main person, per, the main purpose of all of those cameras is to make sure that uh, treasured books don't walk away so you need to you can't bring any bags in there so you have to check your bag in the cloak room they will give you a little card and you can go in there you can take electronic devices like I had previously said and anything that you do need to take in there laptops uh, phones and whatnot you can put in a clear plastic bag and if you want to take pictures of the actual books, that, that is okay. You can do that with your cell phone. You can take photographs or copies of books with uh, the computers that they have. Uh, they have specialized 
uh, copy machines and machines with cameras that face down at the books that you can take take uh, pictures and scans on of the material you just need to bring like a flash drive or whatnot so you can take material out of there electronically you just cannot take anything out of the Library of Congress physically when you leave the Library of Con Congress before you exit the actual building itself they do check your bags again to make sure that books are not walking away but I gotta tell you I felt like Belle in Beauty and the Beast when she went into the Beast castle and saw the library for the first time I was just in awe of the amount of knowledge that was in there and it's not just that reading room it's not that's the main reading room the rotunda with all the artwork I mean that's that's you know that's the tourist part that we all love to see right um, there are multiple reading rooms all over um, Capitol Hill not just this building you have the Madison building the Jefferson building you have all these different buildings with all these different reading rooms millions and millions of books this is your library this is your taxpaying dollars that are at work here and they have almost every book available in the world not just the United States Portugal Spain France Italy you want a book there's a good chance that they have it somewhere in the Library of Congress it may take 48 hours to order but they will get it for you and if the book is not in this building then it will be available in another building um, this building mainly has historical historical books um, they have books that are so old that if you want to re receive it and review it uh, Monday through Friday there is a specific room they're, they're, they're rare, rare books and there's a specific reading room just for the rare books you have to put on white gloves in order to look through these books because they're so old these books are hundreds of years old so you have to wear gloves in order to uh, to look at the pages it's it's amazing it's amazing um, and all I could say is that you know photos and videos they just don't do it justice so if you are into books and history just artwork this place is amazing there is I, I I know I'm kind of babbling because it's it's just kind of surreal surreal the feeling that you get I felt like I was in the Senate chambers and I just sat down there and just took it all in no camera no no recording I just kind of took it all in now if you're a tourist okay you can get into that room okay all you have to do is go online you pre-register you go to the reading room and you get a library card okay with your picture on it it's good for two years so if anything this is a really cool souvenir I got a library card from the Library of Congress good for two years and it will get you into any reading room in the Library of Congress any building that they have it here on Capitol Hill I think this is a good place to wrap up the video for the Library of Congress especially with this background behind me it's, it's gorgeous um, there's so much more to come I'm gonna check out the Supreme Court the Botanical Gardens everything here on Capitol Hill um, so make sure if you are not done so already subscribe to the channel if you're new here click the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future uploads and share this video like this video and take care of yourselves and each other I'll see you on the next adventure peace the Library of Congress any building that they have it here on Capitol Hill and there's a gardener with a blower over there somewhere making lots of noise I hate those things <laughs> I will wait for him to stop